Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode here on assembling my FormBot Voron Trident Kit. So this should be a pretty short episode. I have assembled the frame, very happy with the extrusions. Um, all the ends were cut perfectly, uh, the frame kind of squared itself out. Very, very nice, very happy with uh, how that's working so far. I did get my printed parts, which we'll talk about here in a moment. Nothing really to note too much about the actual uh, assembly so far. I've been pretty straightforward. I've had no real issues. Um, I don't know if I lost them or maybe they were missed in my kit, but I didn't have any uh, M3 by 40 millimeter um, screws or bolts. So I had to use my own um, personal set that I had. I couldn't find any that came with the kit, but it's very possible that I did misplace them. So um, not a big deal. You can see here I've assembled the tensioners on each side and I have assembled the AB motors. So everything's going to well very well. So I have actually um, started putting on the linear rails. These linear rails are actually very, very surprising to me. They seem to be very, very high quality. Um, taking them out of the package, I didn't see any like shipping oil or rust pre preventative on them. So that was kind of interesting. I don't know if these are stainless steel or not. Um, they are very smooth. What I did, um, I don't know if this is the correct way, but this is generally what I do. To lubricate these rails, what I did was I carefully slid one of the carriages off. And then I'll take a little like a zip tie or something like that and I'll dip it into my uh, PTFE grease and I'll rub that grease all over the ball bearings. I don't have a syringe to inject grease and a lot of times these ports on the sides don't even work. So I just kind of rub grease all over the ball bearings and work it in and then I slide the rail or the carriage back on the rail and it seems to work quite well. So that's generally what I do for mine. Um, yeah, so far, very, very happy with this kit. I have, uh, the kit did come with a bag of magnets too for the Hall Effect sensor here. So I did find that, that was really great. I thought maybe that was missing too, but I did find it in my kit. So that's really nice. So for printed parts, I don't have the ability to print ABS. So I sourced printed parts from a Canadian um, retailer called Sparta 3D. And they have phenomenal print quality. Um, let's showcase a couple prints here that they did. So, I mean, a very, very, very nice print quality. All the holes, the most important thing, the holes are perfect. All the screws went in excellent. I'll try to show off a few more parts here. Really, really happy with the print quality. If you're uh, not wanting to print the parts yourself, or you're like me, you don't have the ability, or maybe you literally just don't have the time to do it, um, even if you're not in Canada, I recommend taking a look at uh, Sparta 3D. You can... Uh, Find them in the vendor section on the Discord, the Voron Discord, and you can uh, inquire about uh, their printing service. They offer a bunch of different levels of uh, printing. All my parts have went together extremely well. The, the top surface is very, very smooth, like no over-extrusion. Holes are really clean and nice. All the parts look awesome, so uh, a big shout out to them. Um, Really, really happy with their parts, and they are known for uh, excellent quality parts. So yeah, that'll wrap up this video here on just kind of assembling the frame, doing a, li a little bit with the AB drives, um, mounting my MGN9 rails on here. If anyone has any questions, feel free to comment below, and look forward to episode two. Thanks, everyone.